Hey guys, Professor Shupak back here today with another video for you all. In this video, we're going to go over a critical fractal analysis ratio problem, and we're going to see how we can use a critical fractal ratio to calculate or make a decision for a business. So let's go to the problem. The problem is, we're a small business owner that's ordering backpacks annually. We're buying the backpacks for $35 each and have a shipping cost of $5 per backpack. We're also selling the backpacks for $100 each, and at the end of the year, all the unsold backpacks we have, we will return for a $20 credit per backpack. The problem we're trying to figure out is how many backpacks should we order. We don't know the demand. That's the uncertainty. But we do have this distribution in blue over here of the usual demand by historical data. So demand is 20 backpacks 10% of the time, 21, 15% of the time, etc. I've also added a CDF, which is the cumulative distributed fre frequency, where it's basically saying here is the probability that the demand is 20 is 0.1. This is the probability that demand is 21 or less. So the probability of demand 20 plus 21, 0.15 plus 1 is 0.25. And I continue that all the way through. To make sure we did this correctly, all these cumulative distributed frequencies should add to 1 because every single sample space probability summed together is 1 because the area of under any curve and the whole sample space is always 1. Now, how will we solve this problem? The first thing we need to know is what's the cost. So how much are we spending? Well, we're buying the backpacks for $35 each, so there's the cost. But we're also paying $5 to ship each backpack. So our cost per backpack is the price, 35 plus the 5 to ship. So our cost per unit is 40 What's our salvage value? So salvage value is basically what is it worth if we don't sell it? So if we don't sell the backpack, do we lose all the money that we bought it for? Or are we getting something back? In this case, we're getting a $20 credit back. So our salvage value is $20. What's our profit or our gain? To calculate profit or gain, you need to know how much you're selling it for, and then you subtract how much you bought it for. So we're selling the backpacks for $100, and we calculated that the cost per backpack was $40. That was the $35 for the backpack and the shipping. And that gives us a sum of $60. So we're making $60 per backpack. Now we need to calculate the loss. Loss is equal to whatever we paid for the backpack minus the salvage value, if there is one. So we spent $40 for the backpack, but we had a salvage value of 20. We get $20 back for every one we didn't sell when we return them. So our loss is $20. To calculate a critical, critical fractal ratio, you need to do the gains or the profit over the profit or gains plus losses. So our profit was $60. And we're going to divide that by parentheses, the sum of our profit, again, $60, plus our losses, 20. And we're going to get 0.75. Our critical fractal ratio is 0.75. With this information, we're now ready to figure out the answer. So we go back into our table, this blue one over here, and we go down the cumulative distributive frequency until we find a value either equal to 0.75 or greater than it. So 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.65, those are all less. Those don't work. 0.8. Now that's the first value that is either equal to or greater than 0.75, which means this is our solution. So at the 0.8 level, we see demand is 25. So our solution is we should order 25 backpacks. And that is how you use a critical fractal ratio to make a decision on how much inventory you should order. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to share with someone you think might find this helpful. See you guys in the next video.